Almost every software dev from time to time have to write some quick script in Python. Not following these simple Python conventions make your code look like written by a newbie. In three minutes I am gonna explain how to easily avoid this. Let's go. Number one, not leveraging building functions, for example enumerate, zip and so on. Enumerate, probably the most common, it allows you to get rid of ugly index variable if you need to keep track of current index in your loop. And you have to increment it with every iteration. Good approach, just wrap your iterable with enumerate and now index is available as first argument in the loop. Of course you can jump further and use these comprehensions to be more concise. And next example, zip. If you want to combine two iterables, for example list of names with list of ages, but approach you iterate and append manually. Instead, you can just put two lists in zip function and it will take care of that. If your lists have different length, don't worry. Building iter tools comes with a couple of modified zip functions that suit slightly more complex use cases. Number two, forgetting about f-strings. Usually people from C language, no offense guys, at least you know what are pointers. After Python 3.6, instead of clumsy mapping variables to empty spaces, you can just put f before whole string and wrap variables with curly braces, much more readable. For multiple lines string it works the same, just put f before triple quotes. Third one, mixing imports. Check out this snippet. At first glance it looks okay, but there is a pep convention that encourages to create three import groups. Building packages, external pip packages and third your own code. With this order if you review somebody else's code it's much easier to know what is going on. If I'm importing numpy package everyone knows it's external package but there is so many unpopular packages like for example pdf to image and if you mess up this order it's so much harder to track where the source code is located. Fourth one not leveraging python keywords for example instead if x equals none or if x equals empty string, you can use just if not x. Of course, there can be a case where you exactly have to check if uh, x is equal to empty string, but it's not common. Usually, we want to check if variable value is truthy or falsy. As a bonus, the last one, but very important, not following naming case conventions. There is a bunch of them, but let's break uh, three the most popular ones. Functions, methods and variables should be lowercase with words separated by underscore. It's snake case, constants, capital letters with underscore, classes, Pascal case. If you stick to this, a single look at your code will be enough to identify whether, for example, it is a class or a regular function. I hope after watching this video, your code will be more Pythonic. That's it for today. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more and hopefully see you soon.